Hello and welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. I want to say thank you, you guys, for the new subscribers. I really appreciate that. Shout out to y'all and my following um, my other subscribers that's been rocking with me. I appreciate the support. Uh, shout out to everybody who's been booking personal readings. Um, they're still available. If you'd like to see what's going on with you and your life and you need clarity on your situation, please visit www.ladyscorpiostarot.com and check out my products and the readings that I actually offer. Um, what else? What else, you guys? Um, yeah, just to let you guys know, I will be creating some shirts with my brand um, that I had in the making for a long time, but I just you know, went into business with certain people and didn't pan off right. So I want to actually launch my own t-shirt and they will be on my website as well, you guys. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, let's get straight into it. This is a three card general spread for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September. Once again, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for more content. And let's get straight into it. I'm outside, you guys. So if you hear airplanes, don't, don't mind it. I live by an airport. <laughs> so all right, let's get straight into it. Universal Spirit, Angels, Sending Gods, and Masters. Please give me messages from Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. What messages do you have for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019? That's the message I love. Clarity for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Messages on love, life, clarity, universal spirit for my Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. What messages do you have for my Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019? Actually, messages on love, life, clarity for my Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. One more call for my Cappy, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Universal spirit, angels, and guys, and mass, science, beings, and love, and love, and clarity. My Capricorn. Whoa. Too many cards. Alright. Let's see. One more shuffle. One more card for my Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for September 2019. Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for September 2019. about the airplane. Let's get straight into it. One second. Y'all don't mind. Y'all don't mind if I get something to drink my Capricorns. I know y'all don't mind. All right, the overall energy is the king of coins. So this is definitely your energy, Capricorn. You guys are looking at your stability. This month, you're focused on your stability. Maybe you're focused on the home. You're focused on your career. You're focused on your finances. Um, it could also be a partnership that you could be focusing on with this king, of, um, this king of coins. But you guys could have, could also for September be coming into a new job or some type of abundance. Whereas, so are you really going to be like, going to be able to like structure your finances properly and really, really live comfortably, or just have things in order more than anything? But if not, like I said, the king of coins, you guys could be focused on, um, like I said, your stability, a job or relationship that you invested in. Okay. All right, right behind that we have the Empress. So, so some of you guys could be connected to, you know, uh, Virgo, Libra. But if not, you know what I'm saying, Empress, this is somebody that's very nurturing. It could be a mother, somebody with children. Maybe you are trying to figure out if you want to um, continue this partnership or what's going on with this partnership with this Empress energy. Some of you guys could be expecting, you know, maybe somebody, some of your, uh, some of my Capricorns could find out that you're pregnant. Um, or can be building a family with this empress or just wanting things to be nurtured or wanting to nurture a situation. I'm sorry But let's get straight into it All right. So the first card we have is the queen of coins 
this also could be uh, earth energy like yourself so taurus virgo capricorn some of you guys are dealing with a taurus capricorn female or virgo female um if not they can just display these energies of being a woman that's about abundance a woman that's about her coin how about her money she's she's a good homemaker you understand she also could be a good chef um i see also capricorn that you could also have children with her or want or could be considering having children with her or really settling down with this queen of coins energy for my capricorn men and for my capricorn females this can be you just really really focus on your family focus on your stability focus on your home focusing on focusing on your children you understand just getting things in order okay and focusing on you know just aligning yourself where you need to be family wise stability wise financially wise okay the second card we have is judgment and then we have the third card being the seven of coins so i definitely see a situation surrounding some type of relationship between the king and queen of coins because the overall energy is king of coins and then we have the queen of coins so this is definitely a relationship a partnership a marriage a commitment um and I feel like with the judgment card, maybe something could have happened where like somebody decided to step out and walk out of this relationship and leave it leave it behind because maybe of they didn't want to invest. Maybe things was not, you guys were on the same page at one point when it comes to stability and finances and just getting things in order. It could be also with commitment as well. But with the um, judgment card, you understand, I feel like some of you guys could be connected to a Libra. Um, but if not, you know, earth energy. Um, I see somebody definitely trying to get a second chance. Okay, so... With the judgment card, somebody wants a second chance with this partnership and trying to figure out if they want to invest in the situation, okay? One second, y'all. But with the seven of coins, like I said, somebody's trying to figure out if they want to. I feel like some of my, for my Capricorn men, you guys could be connected to an earth energy. It doesn't have to be. It can be any sign, woman. But I feel like some of you guys are connected to a woman that you're now. This person left you behind. Maybe you guys broke up or you guys split. And so you're coming in with the judgment card. You want to get a reconciliation in order. You want to get a second chance. Somebody could be judging you based on your actions right now and decided to leave you from the past. But with the seven of coins, it's like I think somebody's still holding on to this investment. Maybe you want this person to come back and invest in you. But this person is not willing to invest in the situation any longer they can be running about their own financial um issues or you know their businesses because we have homemade say homemade crafts here you can see a lady she's selling her crafts and she's trying to figure out if she wants to sell some of her items to this person okay so this could be an energy capricorn maybe you feel like this person don't no longer want to invest in you um and you're trying to come in with a second chance or it can be vice versa maybe you feel like your partner maybe your partner feels like this about you like they don't want to invest in you and you're coming in with a second chance um and you're trying to like bring back the stability within this relationship it can be vice versa you understand take what resonates so we're going to go ahead and clarify and get straight into it it's been a good shuffle maybe you feel like capricorn this person is not investing in you and you're trying to come back with a second chance you want a second chance with this person but they're focusing on themselves their own stability their own family or their own finances. They can also be trying to focus on getting a house. You understand? Clarify the Queen of Coins for my Capricorn. Some move around to Venus for the month of September 2019. Why is the Queen of Coins? Oh, okay. Why is the Queen of Coins here? Whoa. All right, one second. All right. Give me another clarify for the Queen of Coins for my Capricorn. Some move around to Venus 2019. So the clarifying energy of this um, queen of co coins, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, woman, it can be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces as well. We have the two of cups. It came in reverse. So some of you guys was definitely in a soulmate connection um, or partnership with this person at one point, but now it's in reverse. So this person could have left the soulmate connection. They could have left this relationship with you, Capricorn. And then, you know, with the king of swords, some of you guys could have connected to a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male, okay, for my uh, Capricorn woman. And this can be either uh, male or female. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Earth sign like yourself, or Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I actually see all signs because we have Sagittarius here as well. 
But with this uh, King, of, King of Swords, somebody wants the truth. Somebody wants things to be true, balanced, and just, okay? Somebody wants to come in. They want answers. I feel like Capricorn, maybe this person wants you. They're not no longer accepting this relationship with you because they feel like maybe you could not be coming in. You could be coming in not really bearing the truth, not really being honest about situations, not really talking about certain things that this person wants to ask you, okay? Or like this could be you, this person wanting to cut you off, okay? Because they just feel like it's no stability with you. It's no honesty, it's no truth. Um, because we have the uh, four staffs that came in reverse. So you guys could have been married at one point in time or lived together and now it's in reverse. So somebody definitely left a home. Somebody could decide to leave a home, move away, um, leave this partnership, this soulmate connection. And somebody wants to cut it off. But I feel like you guys, Capricorn, you guys could still be holding on to it, trying to get some type of truth from this person, trying to spy or get some type of information about this person moved on, what they're doing, um, how their stability is, or it can be vice versa, okay? Maybe this person decided, uh, maybe you left them alone, okay, and you cut it out. And you left this partnership and this marriage, and, you know, this person is kind of trying to come in and get information about you. So just take whatever resonates, okay? Because um, the cards that flipped out for you Capricorns is the Five of Cups. So, like I said, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I see somebody definitely hurting. I, I call this crying over spilled milk. <laughs> Somebody's still holding on to this soulmate connection, even though I feel like somebody had already left the door with the judgment card being here. Somebody already exited out this relationship because we had the four wands in reverse. If you guys live together, somebody left the home, they left the marriage, they left the partnership with the Two of Cups being in reverse and i feel like somebody's still holding on this could be you capricorn still holding on to this uh soulmate relationship um but i feel like it was a third party situation with these three of cups being here at the bottom spilled out so this person could have left you because of a third party situation or you could have left them because they had you in the third party situation capricorn but whatever even if you got a scorpio cancer pisces still holding on to you or this could be you still holding on to this connection knowing that this person you know they had other options in the past Okay, but with the Ace of Cups followed by the Hurricane, I feel like somebody wants to come in with a new offer, to, uh, a new offer of commitment, a new offer of marriage, possibly a marriage proposal, possibly. But I don't feel like you guys are on the same page because I feel like somebody has been hurt. They already exited out of this relationship and somebody coming in with the judgment card wanting a second chance. And I feel like the second chance is going to be some type of more um, like a more stable commitment of an offer. Okay. Because we have the king of coins right here. Somebody that wants to come in with stability and possibly marriage and offer something new, Capricorn. This could be your energy wanting to come in with the Scorpio Cancer Pisces and offer them something new and something solid, stable, a commitment, a marriage, or vice versa. This can be how they feel about you. They want to come back. And if they come back, they want marriage, okay? Um, but with the, with the Eight of Cups, it's like I still feel like somebody, maybe this water sign individual, um, some of you guys, Capricorns, you guys could be females. Y'all can be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio or a Cancer male. Um, I feel like some of you guys want to leave this person behind because emotionally you feel like this person is really draining. And with the Eight of Cups, it's like maybe you feel like you're doing the same shit over and over. Some of you guys feel like it's insanity. You understand? That's what I'm hearing from my spiritual guys. You feel like, okay, this is insanity. I'm doing the same shit over and over and expecting different results. And it's not changing, so I need to get the fuck out of Dodge. You guys could be connected to a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces male for my Capricorn females or males. Um, you could be connected to a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces male or female. And some of you guys want to leave a situation, leave this connection away. Um, maybe, like I said, maybe this water sign already left you behind. And now, you know, you're holding on to your feelings and trying not to show too much emotion. Trying to stay con content with your emotion. Or this can be how they're feeling towards you. Not really expressing themselves. Not really giving too much emotions. They're trying to stay balanced and emotionally stable. Because they're trying to move out the situation and move away from negative feelings, okay? But with the Six of Cups, somebody wants to come back. So somebody's returning back to somebody's life. Maybe you can have somebody trying to return back to your life, but you want to go back to a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, somebody that you, you know, from your childhood. Some of you guys, Capricorns, have somebody from the past that's trying to return back to you, okay? And you don't even realize that. Or you guys could be looking at the past and seeing if you want to return back to somebody from the past. Take what resonates. It can be vice versa, okay? Maybe the person you're dealing with has somebody that came back from their past, okay? And so that's why they're being reserved and they're walking away from this connection, okay? I feel like that sums up the reason. We didn't really got to clarify the seven of coins and judgment. <laughs> but let's clarify. Um, let's clarify. Anyway. Clarify the judgment card for my Capricorns. Well, actually, let's clarify the seven of coins. Clarify the seven of coins for my Capricorns. Some moon rising and Venus. For September 2019. Clarify <laughs> the seven of coins. Yo, this is crazy. I can't make this shit up. We have, once again, the Queen of Coins that came out before, and then we have the King of Coins. We had that in my other one, King of Coins, 
and then we had the king of coins, the queen of coins. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody's really heavily thinking about this relationship. Capricorn, you're really thinking about your relationship. Somebody that left you alone because things was, wasn't like on the same page, it wasn't an equal give and take. I feel like somebody felt like they invested too much and maybe you could have had them in a third party, okay, vice versa. But I feel like you guys are really thinking about this relationship because with the ten of cups being here, this is somebody that you really, really want. Like you really love this person and you want to be with them, okay? Could want to start a family with them. But it's a feeling a lot of arguing, back and forth, competition, people in the mix of the situation. So I'm feeling like Capricorn, you guys could have been having your partner in competition with other offers that you had on the table. Or vice versa, your partner could have had you in competition, you know, competing for their love while they give attention elsewhere. But I feel like it, it led to a lot of fights. It can be self -set. It can also be you, Capricorn, that was self-sabotaging this relationship, okay? And not realizing that like, you was causing arguments and, still, and doing a lot of back and forth and competition and competing and one-upping. And just doing a lot of negativity and a lot of arguing with this person. They decided they couldn't handle it no more, so they left, okay? And, um, so with the devil card, this is your energy, Capricorn. Somebody decided to leave you out because they felt like the situation was too toxic. Too much addictions in this relationship. Capricorn, you guys could be suffering from, you know, some type of addictions mentally or some type of addictions like, you know, alcohol, materialism, sex, you know, attention, whatever the case may be, internet, <laughs> whatever your addictions is, you can be suffering from that. And this person could have left you. You can be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They decided to end things with you because they felt like it was too much of a toxic situation. Or oh, this could be how you feel about your person. You can feel like they, you want to end things with them because it's just, it's causing you to be in your lower self and be toxic. To be in this relationship with them okay but i feel like you want them back i feel like you really really want them back capricorn but somebody just got way too many options right now and somebody wants to come in and apologize and say i'm sorry but somebody still is giving to another person that's why we have this fish popping out some of you guys can be connected to a pisces this person has a lot of options and yeah you coming back but this person i feel like this could be you apologizing capricorn but you still emotionally could be tied to somebody else or still in a relationship elsewhere um, or this could be your partner. They exploring their options. And yeah, you come back and apologize, but they already dealing with something, okay? Or talking to somebody. Or blocking the emotions, so to say. Alright. So, we're going to clarify Seven of Coins. And I'm going to wrap it up. Why well, is the Seven of Coins here for my Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2019. Clarify the Seven of Coins for my Capricorn. Whoa. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to invest back in this relationship and they're trying to figure out if it's worth the investment. But with the Ace of Staff, um, you guys can be connected to a Leo Sagittarius. This is a new, passionate beginning. Um, somebody started something new. They're trying to figure out if they want to invest back in this situation and start something new. I feel like Capricorn, this could be you wanting to start something new and passionate with this person again. But when hey man, like, I feel like they got you in limbo, just waiting, waiting, waiting for an answer. If they want to invest back in the situation and be back with you, I feel like you want something passionate and new from them. But they just got you in wait mode. And I feel like you trying to see things from a different perspective or they're waiting for you to see things from a different perspective in order to accept this offer okay yeah but i see you guys still trying to put in work with this relationship and then coming back to offer some love but it's still a lot of heartbreak with this connection somebody feel like they just invested too much or too much of weight on their shoulder financially you know they feel financially it was too much to bear you know maybe you guys have a lot of issues maybe some of my capricorns going through a lot you got a lot of um you take, there's a lot of responsibilities that come with you, you know, when it comes to relationship or vice versa. And you felt like it could have been third party situations as well that you found out about. You could have broke your person's heart or they could have felt like they don't want to invest because they're heartbroken still. They still and they feelings about some type of heartbreak between you guys. Vice versa. It could be you or the other, or your partner doing this to you. Yeah. And I feel like some of you guys decided to move forward with a Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius. Maybe some of you guys are going to try to move forward with a, a fire sign individual. Uh, maybe trying to figure out what direction you want to take. Some of you guys confused if you want to be with this Queen of Wands or this person that you're really in love with. Because I see a water sign individual as well. Um, but it's a soulmate connection right here. Something suddenly happened. So I feel like maybe some of you guys was foolish and took a leap of faith elsewhere and was juggling between two people. And this situation came back crashing down with the Tower card. Could have been with a Scorpio, okay? But I see somebody definitely want to reconcile or come in with a second chance. But I'm not sure, Capricorn, if it's, it's going to lead to anything but besides the waiting period because i feel like some of you guys are just not on the same page um so you know i'm telling you guys nurture yourself love thyself because maybe this this was just a lesson for you to um you know for you to grow and get to your higher self okay but i do see some type of judgment somebody definitely some of you guys can also be dealing with judges or court situations and you're waiting for some type of judgment to come in okay so that's what I see from my Capricorns. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. 
if they resonate please leave a um, comment below and i'll see you guys next month if you want to book a personal private reading you know what to do everything will be in the description box below see y'all